Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to try to get the Whoopsies disease. This is a very frustrating disease to try and get. It's a very lengthy, tedious process. Uh, this is probably one of the few diseases that most people do not have in the game. Um, so uh, it doesn't mean you're going to get it. It's really dependent on the servers. Some servers work, other servers don't. Uh, you might have to change and do this several times with uh, different servers. You're going to need a lot of stim packs um, and red x in order to pull this off and a lot of patience um, sometimes you get it quickly sometimes you are like today this is probably my fifth or sixth try that i'm trying on different servers to get this um, my other characters got it so i know the method works it's just um, going through the process and trying different servers until you get it so um, Let's go ahead and try. Uh, the gist of it is we'll take Radex to uh, suppress the mutations. We'll take some right away uh, to keep our disease uh, low, um, disease uh, resistance low. We want to try and be starving if we can, and that'll help with the disease resistance. And then we want to try and get a diseased um, hatchling, which is what's going to give us the whoopsies disease. You're all going to get, need a whole bunch of stim packs. Um, I'm just going to get some from my other character here quick as I've blown a whole whack. I've probably blown a good hundred stim packs already on this. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and try. We're going to head over. You want to make sure that you have a queen in the area. We, we obviously have a queen. You can see them in front of us. Um, so if you, there's no queen, just check that your queen exists. Otherwise, just serve a hop until you find a queen. We then want to kill everything in that shed just across the water. And that's where we're going to actually uh, hold out and it'll save us on some stim packs. Let me just drop some stuff here quick, see if I can drop. Try to get that later if we can. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the shed just on on the other side of the pond, yeah, or lake, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you you want the queen to try and follow you, so it's okay. You want the queen to come right down here; those save us time down the road. Okay, we have a Maya Lurk and a king there, so we want to destroy these guys. We don't need them. Like I said, you might get a when 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 you go in yeah, you might get a glowing one. But let's just get rid of these guys. Get rid of this king yeah. Okay, let's just check that we have Bradax. Very important that we have Bradax on. Okay, we do. It's only one minute. So I'm going to head in here. So I can take some more Radex quickly. Okay, 
Okay, so VATS focus these guys, and if they're not, um, if they're not uh, diseased, then you can kill them. Okay, so just be careful the diseased one. You don't want to kill the diseased one. I can take some right away as well. Okay, so keep the keep the diseased one alive. And there you go. So we've just managed to get whoopsies. Um, it, it it seems quick. <laughs> it certainly wasn't. It took me, you know, it took me probably a couple of hours. Um, sometimes you'll get lucky, you'll get it quickly. Sometimes it'll take ages to get it. Uh, I have to server hop. It's going to be dependent on which server, but this method does work, um, as you can see. Um, and now have my challenge. The reason I'm actually doing this is obviously to complete the challenge, which I did do. I think it's under survival. Get different diseases, and we finally have whipsies, and that challenge actually completed. Right. So, so like I said, let me just summarize on what um, we need to do here. If it's not clear, let's just get rid of that guy. So I'm at this uh, I'm at this location, which is a quarry, just sort of northeast of Watoga, Watoga, Watoga. Um, did I say that three times? <laughs> it is a very frustrating process uh, to get it, but it is possible to get it uh, using this process. Uh, you want to make sure there's a queen here. Yeah, the first thing you want to do is take red X so you don't do not uh, Especially if you have if you don't have mutations, I don't think it's as important But you don't want your mutations uh, such as electrically charged destroying your hatchlings because that will just make it more frustrating um, You don't have to kill the queen as you can see if you have the enforcer perk you can actually uh, You can actually disable her limbs um, and let let it spawn additional hatchlings. Uh, what you're looking for are the diseased hatchlings. The other ones you can go ahead and kill. Um, you can use vats and target them with vats, and then just to make sure you don't kill a diseased one by accident, um, or just go ahead and kill the non ones. Once once you kill the undiseased ones, uh, additional hatchlings will spawn, um, and it typically takes about a minute between the, the, the different uh, sets of hatchlings to come through. So you'll see that uh, you'll, we'll get a set and then we'll kill them and then you wait a minute and you'll get another set until you have a diseased hatchling. At that point, if you really want, you can kill the queen, but I recommend you just leave the queen alone. I have killed the queen, but I've also inadvertently killed the diseased hatchling at the same time. So you, you risk doing that. Um, so my recommendation is just let that let the disease hatchling um, just bite you and just leave the queen alone outside. And as new hatchlings come inside, just kill them or um, let let them let them bite you. Right? Okay. I am in power armor, so it doesn't matter that you are in power armor or you're out of power armor. Uh, I did get it while I was in power armor, so you don't have to jump out. This will save you on stim packs as well. Because, uh, you know, if you add a power armor, then obviously, you know, you're going to get lose your health a lot quicker. But there you go. So I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And uh, good luck. If you have any questions, uh, please go ahead and ask them in the comment section. Um, or if you have better ideas, of course, comment and, and let other people know those ideas. But I've just got this twice tonight uh, with an 
you know the two hour time time window um so as you can see there's a diseased one I'm not quite sure why my vats stopped working um but generally you can just do a vat and uh, take out the non undiseased ones and just leave the diseased ones alone and that way you'll you'll avoid uh mistakenly killing a A diseased one. We change weapons here quick. It's probably because I'm I'm over encumbered or something. Okay, so don't vats target obviously the you can vats target the other ones. Just leave the, the undiseased one or the diseased one so they can just bite you. <clears throat> anyway, there you go. Good luck.